Today we're gonna to talk about self-esteem. Welcome back to the Zoomers, I'm Father Luke Damasi. Paulo de Sarasate was a Spanish violinist, he was really good. One night he was in this packed house, playing his numbers, musical masterpiece. He leaves the hall, people are following him, he sees on the street there's this homeless guy who also has a fiddle in his hand. He asks him if he could tune it up and play it. The guy's like honored, he's like, go for it. He tunes it up and he plays just as good as a masterpiece as he had just played in the hall before. Passes the old guy's hat around, collects a good amount of money and gives it to him. But he sees that the guy's bawling his eyes out crying. He's like, oh, don't worry, just take the money, you know, it's the least I can do for you. The guy said, I'm not crying because of the money. I'm crying because I didn't know such a beautiful sound could come out of my fiddle. That fiddle is you and me. We're ugly, broken, and we're useless. We get so self-conscious on how we are and how, what we look like that we don't actually function in the world. Maybe you got a pimple that just came out and you're completely embarrassed about it. What are people gonna say? You're a little bit overweight. Oh my gosh, I don't look like I'm supposed to look like the, like the models look like. You're not as smart as you wish you were. You don't get good grades. You're not as athletic as you wish you were. All this stuff is your self-image, how you see yourself. And at the end, you just get so tired of who you are, you don't like who you are. You don't accept who you are. You are not the wound that you received when you were younger. You're not your grades. You're not what you look like, what you sound like, how you play sports. You are a child of God. Your dad is the richest person in all the existence because he created existence. He's God. You have to give your life to him and he's gonna tune it, make it better, and he's gonna play a masterpiece on your life because you are a masterpiece. You're unique, you're one of a kind. That's not cliche, that's true. Get to know your father, who he is, in the quiet of your heart. Pray to him, ask him to give you that esteem that comes from him, not from what other people think. The best way to get cleaned up is obviously in a good confession. That's where he's tuning you up. And then in daily prayer, that's when he's communicating himself. I'm praying for you. Don't get bogged down on what you wish you were like or what other people wish you were like, but what God sees you as, because you are an only child to him. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.